Alright, it looks like we have some variety. I tried out ninjas and I faced a couple of people. Some of these matches are awfully short, but it shouldn't matter that much. Load. Swappies. Shuffle Reborn is actually pretty good for taking care of your continuous strap cards that get left behind. I get solemned, but here, because of knowing that there ain't no mirror force and shit, I'm able to kill him. Simples, yay! All right, and then it's fluffle ojamas, which is weird. I only say this because. He does draw into a, a blue ojam, I think I remember. Alright. Basically, for the ninja deck, Hanzo is everything. Hanzo allows you to search everything. He is... So good as a warrior. Oh, the reason I set the spell is, you know, mind games. So, yeah, he had Ojama magic. The only fluffles I know that work are just pure fluffles. Because <sighs> Fluffle Penguin is a godsend to fluffles. You don't understand that the cute furry bastard. Alright. Like I don't know how I was getting all of these <laughs> unique decks instead of the usual you know, Zodiacs, but I'm happy, it's a nice change of pace. I do think uh, this guy should just run like Raigeki and shit like that, instead of Judgment of Thunder. But who am I to judge? He actually kicks my ass a bit. I take the damage because I want the search. Because there's my main boy Hanzo. Also, Upstart Golden Ninja is pretty underrated as well. Just discard a trap card and fucking summon a ninja directly from your deck to the field. Too good. But, I mean, I guess you do need a trap card. You kind of don't want to discard most of them. K -k -k Karakuris. This is a fun duel. When I saw um, this guy summon this guy, I was like, oh, cool. Ninjas versus ninjas. Because, you know, this guy's a ninja. They're more samurais than ninjas, but. Hey. They have a ninja. So I thought it'd be fun to see who can win.
Like, I know deeply there's a better card than Double Summon I could be running, but I don't know it. Wait, the match didn't end. Oh, he must have gave up. And Mr. Trolley Roly. I can't believe he was able to draw all cards that you could set. I liked my book in a hand. That hand was okay. That hand was okay as well, to be honest. And then this is what I was left with. And after all that shit, I only got one monster sent to the grave. Like, damn. He hits me with a burning mirror force, gets another one. And at this moment, I draw a trap card. I'm like, yes. Hanzo's are coming. And I was like, no, I'm not risking it. Tornado Dragon is so fucking good. Like, I love this card. This card is amazing. Because it's just something that's obtainable that is an MST. And you don't know how much it matches you need that shit. And then he gives up after summoning that for some reason. Uh, I think that's all of them. I don't think I've got any more. We'll end off with... There's gotta be something. This one? We'll end off with uh, the previous deck. that was featured, the zombie versus six sams new gen after this duel I'll show um, the deck off He thought that would prevent it from dying in battle, which it does, but, you know, banishment. Negates my swallow, and he just goes suicidal, but because of fucking this guy's effect is actually so good with Cyberstein, this is the XZ version as you saw. But yeah, Cyberstein and that guy just go so well together. Alright, let's cut to, um, you know, the deck of ninjas. Okay, so in this deck I run to Getsuga because he pretty much allows you to keep uh, because he's spamming, to be honest. Uh, the two Jogans, because you can special summon one just by revealing any of these. Uh, Earth Armor Ninja, I used to run two, but Hanzo's way more important, so I upped him to three. And now I draw him like all the time, so it's working out pretty well. But Earth Armor Ninja is to basically go into the, the rank 5. 
but I'm looking at the extra deck and I guess you could take this out I've like never been able to use him for you know winning so take him out replace him with any rank 5 for this deck uh, let's see if I can bring it up and yes shark fortress because it counts as they only can attack him plus you can just detach target Excalibur 4k double like ninjas are really good at OTK in sometimes Hanzo as we've already said it allows you to search out the ninjutsu arts when normal summoned and when it's flipped or special you get any ninja um, Halberd for the special summon it does piercing damage which helps it can search it does a lot and <sighs> there's some decks where Halberd's useless for pierce damage but he still helps summon rank 4s so that's why he's in there Flame Armor Ninja is here to just be summoned be rank 5 or stay as a rank 4 because there's the majority of it is still rank 4s Trilight Ninja Shingetsu is pretty good it's another search ninja card I don't think it, yeah it only searches ninjas it doesn't search any of the ninjutsus Thousand Blades, I run too because usually when you go into a rank 4 and you don't discard this guy, you kind of always want another one to be in your grave at some point or another. They work so well to hit there. Together. Sorry, I was reading something that someone just sent me. Um, Extra Sword because ninjas are weak they are super weak like going into a rank 4 that's only 2200 gets beaten by a lot of things like utopia utopia beats this so with extra sword it's 3200 that can attack two times and that's basically why i run this heroic engine for this Upstart Goblin is to just special summon anything if I get a handful of traps. Like, discarding any of these. The the one that doesn't mean a lot is Ninjutsu Arts of Freezing, to be honest. I don't think it's as good as the others. But... If your opponent sets their shit, they can't flip it up or anything, which is pretty good. And last monster, Kagan, for the 1000 attack when you attack. But this is what I don't get about this and Odd Eyes. Odd Eyes has... Ah, da 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 da. Can I find it? Persona... It's usually the one that goes with this asshole. Ah, there. Phantom Dragon. Once per turn, when an attack is declared involving a face-up monster you control and an opponent's monster, if you have an Odd Eyes card in the other Pendulum Zone, you can make that monster gain 1,200. So, this works during both turns. This, this guy only works when you're attacking. What bollocks is that? Yes, you need another Phantom Knight in the grave. Uh, in the Pendulum Zone, my bad. But it's bollocks. Super bollocks. Uh, magic planter, because all of these clog up your field sometimes. These are the ones that will clog up your field. So that's why ninjutsu art's there as well. Because that allows you to draw two cards. Basically, notebook searches this 
and then you get two cards and then you're down three cards so it's amazing shuffle reborn special summon a monster straight away from your grave instead of waiting like call of the haunted but <sighs> call of the haunted would still be good with hanzo because you'll get his effect off and when these clog up the field if you're in trouble you can just shuffle one of these back in your deck and draw a card and with shuffle reborn as long as you use your entire hand you don't actually have to banish anything so that's good alchemy we already talked it's draw two it's part of greed and reinforcements of the army when will it come back to two? Nobody knows. Double summon. Foolish burial. For sending him to the grave. Or ninja. Because sometimes uh, when you get, get Suga, you only have like one ninja. So you can't use his effect because it specifically says target two. Um, notebook for search of the ninjutsu arts. Rust is the best trap that you have because it's uh, mirror wall, mirror wall, instead of paying 2,000. But it doesn't work on tribute summoned monsters, which is bad. But no one tribute summons anymore. Even blue eyes is just like special summon. Uh, Art of Shadow Ceiling, you can just banish your opponent sh shit that you don't care about. Works really well against Zodiacs, surprisingly. This is a good card against Zodiacs. Um, and it's searchable, so good, good. Dupe, special summon Hanzo. Just, if you summon Hanzo, you go into Hanzo. You don't go into anyone else apart from Hanzo, unless you need to go into upstart golden uh, ninja but yes freezing negate attack for one monster it's not that good but it's there for search power discardable and they can't swap positions so it makes ah oh, fuck what are the flip effect monsters hidden city subterrors there we go and one Raigeki. So yeah, this is the deck. Apart from I didn't show the extra deck. Cool, cool, I forgot, my bad. Number 12, Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. Is basically protection. That's basically why you play him. Because nothing's dying when you summon him. Well, nothing apart from anything that's not a ninja. Uh, Kusanagi, I like him. He negates traps. No one ever has traps when I summon him though. Uh, <laughs> Boxer Star Seastus, you just need to discard, like detach one material and you just negate the effect of the opponent's monster until the end. Wait. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. Any monster that attacks him, its effect is negated. Also, you won't die. Also, they take damage if they're stronger. Ninja, too good. This is the guy you go into. You clear board with Tornado Dragon, and then you Pendulum Summon, and then you go into Armor Ninja. Gandiva, any Synchro deck that you fight, pretty much Gandiva can deal with it. Silent Honor Arc is pretty fucking good. Castell is good. Excalibur is just there for that nice 4k gets past that ultimate falcon. More draw power and 3k at most. Not at most. It can go to like 5k but if you're just summoning it with two ninjas or anything, it's a 3k monster, and that's pretty much what you need against Blue Eyes. Because you can be suicidal with this guy. And that is the deck.
Thank you for watching. And please have a nice day. Bye-bye.